Access granted. And this is why I urge every member of my staff, every man and woman dedicated to the true mission of the Humanity Front, to do the same. I say yes. If you're watching this, I beg you, do not allow misplaced anger to destroy everything we have struggled to achieve. It's over. He knows I can't come back from that. Everybody knows, Sandoval. You can't hide from what you've done. What I've done, Mr. Jensen? I spent years patching people back together from augmentation botch jobs and systemic organ rejection brought on by implants. And now, because of Bill's betrayal, I'll never practice medicine again. You really want to help someone? Tell me where Sarah's scientists are. I wish I could, Mr. Jensen. But my involvement ended right after I failed to remove their GPLs. You failed? Turns out, my surgical skills weren't good enough to bypass David Seraph's insurance policy. So for all I know, those little implants are broadcasting right now. On a frequency so low, your network specialist wouldn't think to look for it. You changed the frequencies. You have your answers, Mr. Jensen. And I've lost all of mine. The courts may think I have much to atone for, but my court will be a higher one. How about I take that gun with me when I go? You got everything you came for. Please, just leave. Believe it or not, I'd rather you didn't kill yourself. That's because you have no idea what tortures I've endured. The guilt. The shame. I was told the scientists would be used to find a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis. Instead, I was involved in kidnapping and murder. My life ended that night. It's time for me to go. Think about it. Are you really in such a hurry to face that higher court of yours? At least there are no lies before God. Did you see that abominable press conference? William Taggart all but accused me of terrorism. He claimed that all the violence committed in the name of our cause was the result of my influence. So stay alive long enough to tell him your side of the story. He already knows it isn't true. I trusted that man. For years I gave him loyal service and he betrayed me. He sacrificed my freedom and good name to save the reputation of his organization. It's no use fighting him. He'll just spin it again. At least if I die, he'll never be able to use me again. So that's your plan? Just lay down and die so you can't be used again? That's bullshit. You need to face what's coming. There's a very thin line between martyr and victim, Sandoval. And if you pull the trigger, you won't be remembered as either. You certainly like taking chances, Mr. Jensen. But your point has merit. Maybe I did give up too easily. Early on, I decided my life's purpose was to help people.
But I failed as a doctor. Because by the time I see augmentation patients, it's too late. So I went to Humanity Front. And that wasn't improving anyone either. I was an idiot to think this would turn out differently from everything else I've tried. I hear what you're saying. You care too much. I know what that's like. Too well. Because I've been there. You want to fix everything right away. You want it so much you start trying too hard. Trust me, if you deal with the smaller, easier stuff first, the big things don't look so big. I care too much. I try too hard. Your empathy would be touching if it wasn't so condescending. I just told you everything I touch ends in failure. Don't tell me you know what that's like. At first, after the kidnapping, I was numb. And then the pain came, and it's been with me ever since. I look in the mirror and I see a mass murderer. The guilt and the shame have made me impossible to be with. My wife wants to divorce me, start her life over. I've lost her. I've lost everything. We all have problems, Sandoval. We all have something to atone for. You, me, even Taggart. Your wife will understand that, as will the rest of your family. They'd rather see you live and atone for what you've done than watch you die in shame. Whatever lies ahead, they aren't gonna let you face it alone. I wish I had your certainty, Mr. Jensen, but you are correct. For the sake of my family, I must give this another try. Take the gun. I don't need it anymore. Pritchard, get this. The GPLs are still transmitting. Sandoval switched them to a lower frequency. But, but they could be broadcasting anywhere in the world. I don't have the type of equipment we'll need to find them. It's our only lead, Pritchard. You have to do something. I know. Listen. The riot's still blocking the street entrance. Head back to your apartment and Malik will fly you over. Maybe by the time you get here, I'll have figured out something. Access granted. Them cops, man. Yeah, they can't tell us to get off the streets. We only fly. Thousands of angry rioters took
took to the streets in several cities this evening after viewing controversial satellite footage on... Nice detective work, Jensen. You ready to return to HQ? Yeah. Let's hope Pritchard's found that frequency. You said it. I got a message for you, Jensen, from Pritchard. He says he's not in the office. Great. So what exactly am I supposed to do? I don't know. He said you should check in with the boss. Even if it was true that we were breeding a bunch of augmented soldiers and training them, what do they think stopping us from going home?
Sheriff. David's just stepped out for a moment, Mr. Jensen. But do come in. I've been hoping to meet you. Mr. Darrow. I'm surprised you even know who I am. David speaks very highly of you. He says that when it comes to detective work, you are like a dog with a bone. Have you found your scientist yet? What else did David tell you? Over the years, plenty. But today I'm here as a friend and fellow scientist. Things are getting quite turbulent out there, wouldn't you agree? So many people drunk on revolution. The United Nations being urged to intervene. And all because of the technology I created. Things have come a long way since then. Haven't they? And now my old friend David wants me to lead us to the Promised Land. He's asked me to invite members of the UN to Panchea to convince them we don't need industry regulation. Your geoengineering project in the Arctic Ocean. The installation couldn't have been built without the assistance of augmented workers. And when it's finished, my little hole in the ocean is going to stop global warming. A lovely photo op, wouldn't you say? If it works. You mean, if it doesn't kill us all? Adam? You're back. Uh, can I speak to you outside? Get to the helipad, son. You're going back to Hengsha Island. Frank tracked down one of the GPLs. Only one? Is it? Sevchenko's. But Adam, we had to call in a favor of the DOD to do it. Meaning? The conspirators probably know I'm coming. Boss said we're heading back to Hangshaw. Pritchard tracks Evchenko's GPL signal. If he's alive, there's a chance the rest of them are too. That's a pretty big leap, Jensen. We've been making big leaps for a while now. Whatever you say. You ready to get going? No time like the present. Let's get going. Then hop in. 